Card Game Federation here with a local match. This is going to be one from a little while's back. You know, I hesitate to say that both these decks are probably a little different than they were when this particular fight went down, which should always be the case. I think periodic adjustments to decks are generally in order. Uh, it's going to be a real fun, close fight. Uh, the blue meditative is real uh, labor of love and work in progress. There's so many th variables about it. So it looks like I got the first turn all to myself, which is pretty fun. Oh, that's right. I have to resolve Boo's. Uh, you know, I guess that's the neat thing about having friendly games. Because normally, because of that consistency, we all always do the, the Boo name cards removed from game, you know, at the start of the game. We uh, normally don't even put them in the deck. So that we'll actually sit along with the MP, you know, and get. Uh, uh, completely separated way before it even starts. So I would take a wild guess. We must have been working on this one and uh, tweaking the build. So resolving those. There is a uh, longer uh, or bigger plan when it comes to the this particular deck. We, we wanted to have it go into phases, which is kind of exciting because I am such a fan of high-risk, high-reward decks. Because well, anything I absolutely got raging sick of was the decks that showed up to our last tournament. I could not believe the sameness, the eerie sameness among all the decks that showed up. It's like it's Vegeta and Gohan, Vegeta and Gohan. It's like, I do not want to play a high-risk deck. I want to play the safest, most prone-to-win, easy-button decks possible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pass the Juve, throw one black power up into play. Uh, it goes back over to Andrew. And it's rather important to keep things like the combat enders out there because you basically can't allow old uh, Andrew to keep you in prolonged combat. So it looks like he's powering up. I don't think he's caring enough to actually press a fight. I mean, he could do some stuff, but it would not be a stellar try to kill me one combat kind of thing. So it looks like I think I see a, I seen a confrontation, a solar flare, a chance prep. Okay, looks like we're going into combat then. And uh, I assume there you go. Solar flare is going to go ahead and make him mill the top. Uh, he's not. He has. Uh, I have nothing to crit. Uh, but yeah, Soul Flare is going to raise the Anger one, and I'm going to stop it with Time, which is the perfect counter. I believe he targeted uh, Power Up. So I have a decent amount of cards in my hand, and and you obviously we 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 know that uh, there we go. What's in Andrew's hand? But obviously I didn't. So I used the black meditative, or what did I do? Did I rejuvenate? Oh, I used my my um, boo attack. Okay, got it. Nice. He's gonna get off a of confrontation after I did the discard and draw. Heaven knows why I would ditch a black combo. I like I must be the craziest son of a buck alive. Uh, so it's uh you know he was like you hit me what you coming me for man I don't <laughs> I think uh, Andrew might be exaggerating the difficulty of what needs to happen here obviously t uh, the uh, concussive strike is going to be your biggest yeah biggest threat because I could wh whip it out later and get rid of a, a tri beam or two and really help uh, you know not help him out but I guess he's going to go ahead and go with um, that should have got shuffled back in. I don't know how none of us... I hope one of us catches that, that Devlo was supposed to go back into the deck, not in under the discard pile. He didn't exactly hit me with a stare down. No? Apparently I'm much too in the zone to notice that that was not supposed to go to the discard pile. And here I am doing that. I mean, it's going to make its way back in. It doesn't ultimately affect the outcome because it ended up being the thing where I rejuvenated more than I would have had in the discard. But you get what I'm saying. That's still a little silly for us to miss that kind of stuff. So I hit him with a concussive strike. He hits me back with a chin's prep, so all my anger gets uh, is lost pretty thoroughly. Yeah, you know. 
So I'm going to use the mastery to go ahead and target Black Power up because you guys remember since he turned it off a Solar Flare, I couldn't use it, but I could still utilize it with the, the mastery to blow it up to go ahead and snag two different ones. Yeah, I think the language in here was fantastic as far as being very specific about what uh, what it can target and can't target because I was thinking about the slightest change to the wording on meditative would make it too broken. So I had to go with a face off and a searching technique which are wonderful. And uh, just waiting to finish the shuffle on that one. So one of the early goals here should be to gut out the other person's deck as quickly as possible of their defenses. Because of the way this deck is built, we actually have a very specific set of cards that we want to see uh, banished out early game. So it looks like he's going to go ahead and grab a Tien's Prep with his uh, level 1 Tien power, which is fine. It's a, it's good for early game stuff, especially if you're looking to try to program a uh, program, uh, prolong the combat. And near as I can tell, Andrew will be trying to draw into something good, trying to prolong his turn long enough for that to happen. I really thought you were going to say something else there. Okay, I used my searching technique to gut out a prep and a defiant challenge. So, uh, not prep, a uh, uh, tri beam and a defiant challenge. Looking back at it, I think there was better targets, or I was just doing them in the wrong order. There was just something off about it. it. It wasn't hitting the way it was supposed to, as far as getting the deck out early game. Man, I'm really getting my money's worth on them shuffles. Okay, so that was my action. I went with searching technique. And we're going to see what he's going to play in a second Tien's prep that he snagged. He does mill a tri beam at a time. One of the more expensive mills I've ever seen come out of the Tien deck. I Okay, he's going to draw. End of milling two. Sadly, I lose a justice. Rush, which is amazing. I use. I had the nerve to not hold on to a black dense ball, knowing I could still be hit. Like, what was I thinking? Mastery is one mil, one mil. And he's going to go ahead and level, because it looks like we ran into just the right thing to... No, 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 we're not level. You just got some stages. It's one of those things where I think I told her to get out of my face so many times... But, okay, look, somebody that pretty wouldn't be interested in me. So we're uh, waiting on me to finish my dumb little uh, conversation here to be able to jump in on this one. You know, it's amazing. Have I really not taken a single styled hit from, uh-oh. Oh, that's right. Time was up. That's why. I was like, how do I still have anything? Because I, I would say that if that, that number of attacks should have been, I should have lost some set up or, you know, from the Black Receptive. But no, no. So it goes over to me because I clearly didn't bring us into combat on that one. I did kind of do my best to try to last through it, but I did come out the worst. Yeah, yeah. It's just one of those situations where I went. Okay, we have to resolve the end of combat effect. I'll tell you, that end of combat Black Meditative, it might be my, my least remembered. Yeah, it's nice. I did get a hand of lots and lots of setups, but I'm going to pass Rejuvenated Delay because obviously why the heck would I go in? I already powered up. But yeah, I was saying that of all the, the triggers triggers that are uh, really important but also easily missed, it is that end of combat one. I am so bad at remembering it. Yeah, significantly more attractive and younger than me, but I just didn't believe it. Hey, man, you're ethnic. That helps. You know, you got... Facial hair. <laughs> yeah. That is nice. That's a nice touch. Also, I have no chin and significant chin scars, so we should probably keep this in place. <laughs> Michael? Yeah. All right. That is a quick uh, pass on Andrew's turn. It goes back to me. I'm going to go ahead and snag another a black power up, which is nice. Uh, looks like I would have ditched the second to last card, rejuvenate it, and let this one go. I don't know why I would do anything else. Pass, rejuvenate a black dash. I did not see the card I held back in my hand. Goes back over to Andrew. He's got a healthy sized hand. Really surprised he hasn't somehow squeezed out a, um, a smoothness drill so far. And he is going to go into combat. Okay, I'm going to use face off to turn off events. And that should be my only one entering. 
Okay, it goes back over to me. I would assume this is where all the styled physicals are going to come flying out, and he's going to start knocking out my uh, setups. Because that's my memory, is I didn't get to use hardly any of these. Okay, he's going to use shoulder charge. Shoulder charge is going to go ahead and let him stack a card, one each side, from the discard pile to the top of the life deck. All right, and we're done, so with uh, stacking. And I believe I ended up taking the hit, which is just a real scrub move there. I believe, like I said, this is where... Okay, so we are going to use Black Delay. We're going to do the discard. I think I do double sixes. Did I do triple sixes? No, that's four. And he ends up dipping the shoulder charge. Okay. That's neat. I will use uh, Black Meditative to destroy uh, Dominion. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Domination, Dominion, Dominion. And I'm going to go ahead and target it, rejuves with the Mastery, and then I'm going to go ahead and snag out some stuff. I'm not sure what left I uh, have to grab. I assume a Black Searching Technique. Well, that's a given, I suppose. What you throwing at me? Well, I got this gear so I can throw. Okay. Let's see what I end up going with second. All I can say is yeah, try it. Try it. That's why we succeed. Two. I know that's not what you were trying to say. Uh, okay, another black power. Not a bad choice. You weren't going to say that, but you can, you can try. <laughs> that's, that's why I just kind of go, most likely succeed. <laughs> but you can but try yeah, it. yeah, you're definitely welcome to try. <laughs> You can All right. try. Okay, resolve my effect. Me, it's more of a, and let's see what Andrew's going to respond uh, with. All you guys could look at me with my janky... And oh, we're looking at According, uh, uh, according to Andrew, illegal. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's going to go ahead and activate... Well, I thought it would have been his TN level 1. That should be banished, not discarded. He pulls out a named card. That fell into his discard pile, but it should have been in his banish zone. Oh, okay. It must have gotten milled, and he had to search that out. I'm sorry to say, I missed. Was it? Oh, he might have just mastered, because if it only milled the one. But it does answer my little uh, little observation from before. What was taking so long for him to get smoothness out? If you feel obligated. Nice. Black searching technique. Okay, we're gonna searching technique and see what we can get rid of. Let's see what I come up with here, because like I said, uh, uh, that last one. Okay, so I did a tri beam. So so far so good. And another Defiant Challenge. On the one hand, sure, I'm getting rid of his ability to bring him back, or uh, yeah, to, to you know get him out of the discard, or banish him, rather. But it's still not... It, it seems like I didn't hardly slow him down at all. Okay, now he does his Tian Power. I believe, what is that? People of Earth or something like that? Or Earthlings? And he's going to go ahead and grab a name card from the banish. All right, we're telling awful stories in the background. I'm going to apologize. Normally, I don't care about our bad stories. I looks like I threw my level one boo physical, very minor. Did my rejuve and anger rays off it, so nothing crazy. Okay, he's going to do Visage, not Power Up. That's interesting. So I'm going to take a minor bit of damage, nothing really notable. 
Uh, yep, just two life cards total with a little bit of endurance to share between them. And Visage is off, so it becomes sort of fodder to be uh, lost to him sneaking through one black style attack. Which part? Remember how the darker side of Reddit? Okay. I was, there was a joke that appeared on a YouTube reviewer's uh, video, but I couldn't remember where it came from. I, I all right. Uh, so a little promise between me and you, the audience. I'm going to be a little more mindful of what's going on because even I'm getting frustrated with me. Uh, so if I'm going to be in a featured match, yeah, just let's just get through the match. Uh, apologies for the conversation on the other side here. Uh, the other guys are much better than I with staying on track during the fights. So that's going to be me. Uh, since I do technically do this as sort of a live recording, I don't have the ability to edit this out readily. So my apologies on that one. Yeah. Yep, took the damage. So I'm going to grab the candy beam. I'm going to go ahead and target in the banish zone and grab one of Boo's candies. So... Do I recognize right here that he has a drill out? I guess I didn't. I guess I really did that thing where I really didn't see he had a drill out there. Oh, there it goes. All right. Hey, proud of me. I didn't you know, do a hilarious biff. Hey, see, he's going to stop the candy beam, which is good. He might have evened up the cards a little too, bit too much. He's going to throw a black defensive burst. It's really impressive. Uh, very effective against me. Very effective. That would not be great. It just turns off. It just becomes a Would I be able to, to use this drill on it before it comes into play? I don't think so, because it doesn't come into play attached. Like, it's already, be, like, it wasn't activated. It's just on you. You know, like, like, like unleash searches for Yeah, you know how that one, if they come into play attached, they skip their activation stage. They're just already there, so even your instance that could, you know, uh, negate them just don't work. Oh, that's right. He blows one up because he snuck past a styled attack. That's fun. D burst. And you didn't discard anything for, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, what's that card called? Protecting? Protection? No. Um, I'm going to use a black teamwork on you. Stop it. You have to stop and it. And what oh, bothers right. me to no end is that black teamwork theoretically should be a giant KO swing for the oh, mill that happens on it. Heaven knows why this wasn't the uh, MVP of lots and lots of different types of decks. Uh, I think it, what ends up happening here is that I somewhat sabotaged myself because I wasn't doing a tremendous amount of damage. Excuse me, so cards with endurance weren't falling out of his deck. Didn't have a lot of reasons to have him in there, so he ends up milling a very relatively small amount when that one can potentially be a death blow. He's going to use Black Annihilation, target any three cards in my discard pile and banish them. No brainer. I always scoop all the setups you can get. You can't let me have access to them. So he's going to wisely get rid of a power up and a black searching technique. And that actually refreshes my memory just a tad about why I didn't fire off that third searching technique in the course of our little fight. Okay, Annihilation gets uh, endured with. Uh, Max shout, and he's going to go ahead and destroy another setup because, again, that was a styled attack that snuck its way through. All right, good activate Max shout, which I'm going to try to remember. Do I remember to practice what I preach when it comes to meditative and always banishing my setups and remembering to banish them afterwards? Do I dumbly throw this in the discard pile, or does it make it to the banish zone? Let us find out. Oh, and I had the nerve to throw it in the doggone discard pile. Boo! Shame! Okay, that, one, that particular combat, uh, painful, slow, grudging, finally over. So I do draw in, uh, draw into my cards, grab my Tree of Might, throw it in play. There is no reason to press anything at all. Okay, I'm going to pass through Juve, it goes back over to Andrew. Uh, looks like he's got a D burst, and as far as I know... Andrew will go in against any of my physical decks if he has a D burst in it, even if he doesn't a full hand. 
No, looks like he's going to pass a rejuvenator. Wow, there goes my little observation about his plans in the past. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm packing here so that I went in on this particular hand. I can't see what I have. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and blow up Boo's chocolate, and this guy, I believe, banishes? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and then I activate the banish effect from Boo's chocolate. Oh, I have to resolve this. Oh. Sorry, or I can destroy a setup I control, right. so I blow that up, and then in order to get the other one. So I search for two other setups. Actually, that's your oh, what are the odds? So it looks like I'm going to actually not banish the, the booze name card for that one. Uh, I'm going to use the mastery to blow it up, and then he loses the card. It was targeted, and I get some cards back from my trouble. At least I think, unless I misread my own thing. Android 13 for four stages. Mm -hmm. If I hit, I search. Oh, you try to hit I was going to say that Andrew does have the deck he needs to make this happen. Look at that hand. Looks like a pair of. Uh... Wow. Looks like I got a defensive burst on him, which is kind of funny. Yeah, the irony. I don't think he has any physical attacks at all. Or he might have a double team, but probably the one. That's a toughie. Usually a solar flare is going to be tip of the spear in almost any attack in order to try to reduce the opponent's ability to respond. So it, if it were me... Uh, I guess there isn't a whole lot of damage to go around. No? Yeah, all right. Soul Flare's going off. He's going to pass. Not pass. Excuse me. Uh, mill the top, and then he's going to go ahead and select a card from the discard pile because Black Mischief's going to go ahead and snag one, shuffle itself back in, where the card can recur itself plus one, which is a wonderful little little thing for trying to get some longevity out of those self uh, those uh, self destructive decks is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so he's going to hit level 2. That damage buff really adds up. You play the ally. It's kind of shut up, power up. Ah, so I was kind of wondering how the heck I got out of this one. Okay, I stopped with black resistance. Nice. But I really should have just let that through and pop the uh, visage because why not? Make him mill. So I threw his uh, boo physical, raise my anger, hit four anger. And I think this is just where the preps start just raining down. Did I do my reju from that particular move? You may discard a card from your hand to draw, or do you have to discard to rejuvenate to? Really? Oh, okay. Well, I can oh, we're talking about how um, this deck isn't technically my deck as far as ideas go. And uh, I don't think I ever properly read Boo's Level 1. Or if I had, I brain dumped it multiple times. Because, son of a gun, that, uh, that Boo has a or statement in there, not and. So, yeah, Boolean operations are still important to learn in our, in our day and age. All right, and there goes all my wonderful anger being lowered, I believe, two at a time. And you already know that he actually has two of those in hand at this point. So I'm going to get zero anger and two actions. Mm. Oh, true. Well, it's a start. Oh, I milled two, I lowered two, and now I lowered two. I've proxied out a full deck before. Oh, <laughs> 60 cards. It's happened. Right. So, so that's kind of neat. The prep. Right. Oh, prep can potentially... Help to uh, close the gap on the game. That one's going to get rejuvenated on the rejuve. He's going to go ahead and draw. Okay, a tree of mine on me. I don't know if that means I'm finally ready to start swinging back at him. So, four. Four, four life. What you going to do, man? Whatever I feel like. <laughs> Whatever the move. Whoa! And there's that second Tien's prep. It mills the top for me, lowers my anger two levels. It's a very good idea to 
to, uh, to do it this way. Basically softened me up pretty good, just uh, throwing prep after uh, prep. Jeez. Andrew's deck is barely even in existence. Wow, I got some mild and uh, rejuvenation off of something. Presumably that level one. Or it's Max Shout. Raise Android 13's uh, game 6 stages. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, energy attack. Nothing important in your deck has a direct smart. Discard pump. That's just what you stick. So, 14 and 15? Your reaction's it. Okay. And energy. 2 and 8. 2 and 8. What's your Android? 0. 0. Mm -hmm. 10. Jeez, knock my anger down and next to nothing. Energy for 3. <laughs> It was the last defiant challenge falling out. That is kind of exciting. I take a small amount of damage on his reprisal. Nothing crazy. Jeez, that means I finally hit him with uh, the visage. <laughs> Oh, wait, I already used this, didn't I? Uh, I used Max Shout. I could have sworn. Yeah, I bet it's true. I'm sorry to use this. Uh, <laughs> this man already used this. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah, you stink. You didn't need those, did you? I, I did. They were a big part of our little plan. Yeah. Oh, right. and um, from... Oh, no, never mind. That was Tien. Oh, all black teamwork. And so I'm going to throw another black teamwork. Presumably this would be bigger if... He, oh, it's the other protective. Fantastic. And he does ditch the black double team to be able to get that to have a second shot. That is impressive. I'll stop it with resistance and raise my anger. Uh, I have to pass. Because this is still the combat with Debris, I forgot about it. I was like, wait, you have to have some physicals left over. Mm. Annihilation. Ooh. Yeah, there's Black Annihilation. Here comes another styled attack, Black Style, that's going to go ahead and let him blow up another setup in play. I think he'll have wiped my field between my usage and the, the last two combats. I'm pretty sure I got wiped. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did you advantage All of it. These three. And we'll blow up your power up. Ooh, he did it. And that's what we thought. Remember I told you he's going to slip past at least one style move and get rid of uh, my setups because I was thinking, like, there's a reason those probably should be utilized. And we're like, why did I dip on combat? And, uh, I, I said something a little off. It's his energy for just Judge didn't one. see it. <laughs> I will pass. Oh, boy. 13, 13. Jeez, I'm already out of moves. He's very effective. He was one that seems like a better design guy than most. Oh, I should play. Okay. I wish John had given up on his 13. It was still viable all the way through. He only needed minor tweaks. Nice. He's going to advance a level with his level 3 TN to jump up. It's funny. Well, I think we've told the story is way, way back before Tien found a niche as of set four. Uh, he did not have hardly anything at all, you know, to, to work with. And having that ability to jump off seemed count, counterproductive because one of the few things we tried to do with Tien back at that time was to add PvP, but it was a little silly. Ooh, I thought you already did this one. Did I? I think so. Banishing power like did, or this is all in one combat. No, trying to remember if he'd used the master, <coughs> excuse me, the master or not during this particular combat. Uh, Gee, apparently I'm going to end up with lots and lots of passing this particular one. Get ready to end the combat. I'm going to remember to resolve the end of combat with meditative, as I should. Andrew draws into a pretty significant juicy hand.
<laughs> you check where everything is? Yeah. All right, well, I'll just get everything that matters up here so you can just look at it through the glass. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> look at it. Not too... Holy cow, I gutted you yeah, out. I have no spears. Yeah. There should be spears in your Oh, not in that deck. I was going to say, there's spears in your bowl. Like, oh, yeah, I'm not playing my bowl. That's right. Cards in hand, zero. Zero. I'm at a disadvantage. I'm weak. You could, you could try to attack me. Oh, boy. Four in hand, zero in hand. This is going to be a, a massacre. I, I, I'm I looking at our little timeline here, and I have no idea how this continues to be a battle. So they just straight up banish it since it's already revealed. I don't know how to play this deck. We're going to do it okay. Okay. Um, how many cards in discard? Four. 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 Okay. Um, What's that, turn? Face kick. Oh, sure. Enter no effects. I have uh, three, three, so my entire two. Okay, so he is going to draw me into combat on that particular one. That makes absolutely everything else make sense. Going to open up with yet another Black Annihilation. This particular card got used all three times during the course of our fight. I don't believe he's recurred at all, so that just means he consistently got all three of them out. I'm going to pretend I never have to find uh, accents. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, physical for okay, 18 plus 3. Oh, shoot, no. it hit me. Uh, four so, and Black Annihilation is going to hit me. I believe he's going to get... Ow, and he's going to get two shots at it just because he hit level four. And that was something we used to make a little bit of a observation of. I know the game would have to have a specific interaction rule because it was, I kid you not, at one time, we really thought uh, the... Oh, that's right, about doubling a double. We were a little bit, um, as a group, confused about that one. You know, anything has remain cannot be, you know, uh, used a second time. Like, it loses remain just by being generated from, from elsewhere. So, TN's level 4 doesn't duplicate everything. Okay, it looks like going to gain 5 power stages from his battle pausing. He's going to go and banish Tug of War, which is a, a pretty sound idea. It wasn't doing him anything too important. Candy beam. <laughs> and then I'm going to candy beam at him. To my knowledge, I have no targets for this one, because, you know, the TN doesn't do very much in the way of setups. Candy beam. Or release that. Somebody discarded cards on my nice. search my life deck for style of an Annihilation. Destroy. Boy. This is considered style ending for my card oh, text. Oh. And it's placed in my hand by card text. So okay. Looks like I get to take the damage from that one from the second shot of Annihilation. So that one, like we said, did not have remain, so it successfully gained that two-shot capability, which is devastating. I, like I said, it's uh, it's hard for Tien to lose at this point, being able to throw the ridiculous attacks. So it looks like he's going to blow up one of these from the whole styled uh, perspective or perceptive mastery. I. I don't know why that's showing up. I, I don't know if I had to pull out of the deck or what just happened because suddenly I'm possessed of a black dominion. It's a gut crusher to my knowledge. I have no. That's if I've destroyed, but I have no, not this kind of So that would be something. I'm going to take that dug on thing. Blow up the power up. Ooh, nice. Ooh, lose another power up. As if that matters. I'll throw my physical to rejuvenate my power up and raise my interaction, sir. Time. Nice. Okay. Looks like I have a dev blow waiting in my hand. I think that in uh, maybe like a day, a week tops, those cards fell out of the deck. It was too much already doing banish from the discard pile. It was just a hat on a hat. Reveal and banish if it's not a ball. 
Ooh boy, late game black mischief or I'm already fried. That is not good. Okay, so that was his action. It goes back to me. And then it's, I'm going to go ahead and I, I would take a wild guess. I'm going to activate that one just as something to do. Its regular effect was not like very strong. So I don't remember that being a thing. Ooh, or if it's a late game one where you have to name, that's a losing proposition. You have to think of what's missing. And whatever it is, it's still going to be a minority no matter what happens. Okay, it looks like I have some kind of idea. Well, maybe it's not as easy as maybe not. Maybe it's you have a different deck for the last time I looked at you. I'll name Pesky Barrage. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what did I do with it? Yeah, like, cool. I knew Tien's preps were in there. If you think about it, how would I not know that Tien's preps were in there? There'd be a small chance it could be in his hand, but that's not what happened. Maybe just throw him in there? Obviously, it's good. Yeah, I'm higher than you. Destroy two sets of skills. Hey, Mastery's going to destroy one and one. Looks like he's going to get some power stages for his trouble. You get some stages, huh? Yeah. Woo. Nice. Boy, howdy. And so, oh, why? Why does this hand oh, yeah. draw you in? Hold on. This is just lack of familiarity. So, again, we talk about end game or end of combat triggers. I'm real good at forgetting them. So, that's probably why. Oh, no. Watch me misplay. Yeesh. We could have did one of those misplay counters on the on the screen for this one. It's where how many times do I use a setup and didn't banish it afterwards? Ugh. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and throw a concussive strike, uh, do some banishing from his discard pile. I'm sure it's going to be just this stuff, a D-burst of confrontation. Okay, it makes sense. And it would be six power stages if it hits him. It looks like it does hit him. No hit effects. Goes back over to Andrew. Looks like he's got some good stuff. He's got a... Shoulder charge, an excellent card. Uh, I think my entire field got obliterated. Did I end combat even once with all the instances of black power up that showed up? Looks like he's going to be stacking up t uh, time. So that would say to me, Andrew probably has no more milling stuff to do. He might be trying to attack me with something else. My precious anger now. What are the odds? Uh, I guess I'm going to get hit with it. I'll take two power stages because of my natural resistance. So did you guys catch that? How he stacked time, hit with it, rejuvenated ATN's prep, which means he gets to draw. So he just squished a uh, time a time from his discard pile to his deck to his hand. That is major, major tutor uh, action. And somehow it just made me go, huh? So he gets a second shot of shoulder charge here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and, and do some... Vanishing and time fell out. See, this could have been a very easily my game kind of thing. Back, black skin match to level. Uh, I'll halt it. So I it's basically a sphere. Uh, if I have two or less traits used when I meant to play, cancel the fix that card. Full we'll shoulder charge again. Nice. Shoulder charge. He's gonna start stacking. Jeez, the random black dense ball in there. Okay, neat. So I get to lower my anger one, take a whole three power stages because it's flat damage. Alright, he's going to go ahead and uh, rejuvenate a card on the hit for shoulder slam. So he's coming up plus a couple of cards. Okay, Dev Blow is going to go off. We're going to raise. We're going to lower. And see, it. I don't know why I didn't do that in the past. If you think about it, I really could have thrown that devastating blow past combat, got rid of time, and there would have been no such bogus nonsense at the combats. Okay, and <laughs> Tian's prep goes off. Hey, ole. So he's going to resolve mischief from being mill. He's going to go ahead and get that in there right now. And he also got a uh, black t double team. 
Whew, there's me soaking up some damage late game when uh, Andrew should not still be alive. And wait, where did Prep go? From this way, I don't use the damage to Oh, it should be the bottommost card. Okay, cool. I'll draw them. Okay. All right. Black and Ash, bounce off the time. Your action. Revealed. Zero in hand. And through Black Dash just for the anger gain. Neat. Double team five, no prevention. Nice. Mm, this is the one that air, uh, got everything evened up. Unpleasant. So I take my five life card damage. No, yeah, yeah. You know what will last hold this turn? It had a fun time with this turn. Strike your action to. Annihilation. Ugh, more Annihilation. His card. So you wouldn't think at this late stage of the game that basically Andrew's entire deck is just the same recurring probably four uh, four cards. But it is. And I take my hits like a champ. Targeting. Did you have any targets left? Oh, just a prep? Oh, nice. See, I was under the impression they had to be... Named attack on targeting, that shows you how much I've used it. <laughs> so he ends up fishing out of TN's prep, and to my knowledge, he knows that he can keep doing it because the deck has nothing but stuff that helps to mitigate mill. So it would just be a matter of watching me mill down. See, there you go. See, he's got to resolve a mischief and a uh, uh, annihilation, and both of them recur cards. Look at that card recur recurring there. That is impressive. And I somehow, oh, that's right, I was going to say, and somehow I couldn't punch my way to him to, to, to slow this down. I was like, oh, yeah, I let him get time like that. And that is that one hilarious, non-preventable, black double team, hilarious card name, and the game, she is over. I lost that one fair and square.